right, you guys. All right. So, uh, so basically, I want to clear up a little, little uh, maybe a, an error that I made in a previous video that I'm actually noticing a lot of people was having this problem. I'm also having this problem with my Blackjack 42 uh, from the factory, new out the box. This drive dog is butted right up against the strut bushing. This is a razor blade hobby knife. I can't even get a hobby knife in between that bushing. Now what happens when your bushing is that close to your drive dog? You maybe want to put a bigger propeller on or you're giving it punchy throttle. Um, that flex cable actually contracts and shrinks up pushing this drive dog up against that bushing. Now, if that happens, what, what's gonna happen is either you're gonna break your, your flex cable, snap it in half, or you're gonna, it's gonna spin that bushing inside your strut. And if you start spinning that bushing in the strut, it's gonna wallow out that aluminum strut barrel and gonna cause all kinds of problems. Uh, at the end of one of my runs, I just kinda blip the throttle and I noticed my bushing was spinning, so I caught it just in time. I'm not a professional, by no means, but I do know my stuff when it comes to RC boats. Uh, my, my, my bushing started spinning in my strut barrel. Now, I know they make several different struts, to where the bushing is supposed to spin in the strut barrel and I know like like Speedmaster the strut bushing is supposed to spin inside the stuffing tube since this bushing comes out I'm wondering if it's supposed to actually spin in this strut barrel or if it's supposed to be stationary it's never spun in this strut barrel until my last outing basically the reason I'm making this video my bushing started spinning in the strut barrel and it caused it was causing a lot of vibration a lots of noise it sounded terrible so I removed the full flex cable it was greased it had grease all over it no no issues with grease whatsoever so what I did was I, I put a, a bit of Loctite on the inside of my strut which basically on my bushing on the outside of my bushing and I Loctited my strut into place this boat came from the factory with the bushing Loctited into place I know one to two millimeters is not enough gap in between this bushing and your drive dog so that's why I'm telling you guys to make three or four millimeters gap because that's why I think it was metal on metal like I said that's why my bushing started spinning inside my stuffing tube inside my strut barrel so if anybody can shine some light which I know the answer I just don't want to tell nobody wrong from the factory this bushing was glued into the strut barrel that's why everybody's having issues getting it out so if anybody could tell me if it's supposed to spin in there or not please shine some light I'm sure there's some guys out there would that would appreciate it but my thinking is that it's not supposed to spin in this strut barrel and I can almost 100% tell you it's not supposed to but like I said I don't want to provide misinformation for anybody so what you guys need to do to fix this problem you guys see how much prop sh shaft we have here right we got plenty of prop shaft the problem is one to two millimeters just is not enough uh, gap in between this strut and the drive dog. The manual calls for one to two millimeters and it's, and it's just not, 
enough. Let's get this, let's get this drive dog off. This is basically what we're having our problem with. All right, maybe it'll come off easy for me. Maybe not. A little bit of force there, you guys. A little bit of force to get that drive dog off. You don't want to scar up your drive dog, and you don't want to scar up your bushing. Now, if you have a 3 16 th thrust washer, I suggest putting it on your boat. Let's see if I got one handy here. A thrust washer will actually help. This guy right here will actually help so that you're not metal on metal, basically. So what we need to do to fix this problem is file out or get your a Dremel and, and make this keyway right here a little bit bigger, okay? A small flat file or a, uh, like, like a micro file. But what you wanna do <clears throat> is cut this keyway right here longer. So I'm just gonna make a little mark somewhere in there that gives you enough room to put your grub screw in that flat spot on your shaft, okay? That way when this flex cable contracts, with when you have a larger propeller on especially, uh, this pro boat propeller, it, it's not gonna contract that cable as much as you think it will. Um, but when you're putting a larger propeller on, it will contract it. So you basically need to move this flat spot up on the shaft, maybe two or three millimeters that way you have a little gap in between your strut bushing and your drive dog all right i've already done mine a little bit i'm just showing you guys i'm actually doing a little bit more all right so you don't want to cut into it too much all right you see what i'm doing Basically, we want to extend that flat spot. You don't want to cut the flat spot out deeper. Because you'll weaken the shaft. But you definitely want to just extend it. Extend it out. See where I, I extended it? That little gap right there? That's about how much I've extended it already. Uh, I've already extended it about a millimeter or two already and then I was like you know what I'm gonna show you guys um, what I'm doing if you you know maybe you, it'll help you out <clears throat> but that will help you not break cables it'll help you save your bushing save your strut barrel all right just take your time and do it I'm probably gonna just I'm just showing you guys I'm probably gonna clean it up a little bit once I get off camera I just want to show you guys what to do here to save you some money because I was looking at horizon hobby and uh, they're wanting 30 some dollars for a flex cable thirty dollars for a strut I hadn't even seen a bushing on sale I hadn't even seen a bushing for this strut barrel so make sure you got a gap every boat with a flex cable should have a gap in between the strut bushing and the drive dog all right so i'm gonna put this on just gonna kind of tighten it down where my flat spot is so you guys can see when you're adjusting your strut up and down let's see if i let's see if this is the right one nope sure when you're adjusting the strut up and down, watch how it'll throw that bushing in and out. So you need movement. When you're adjusting, see? See how it moved? See that? See how it went back? When you push it down, and then when you push it up, it'll go out toward the drive dog. So make sure you've got a gap right here. I I've got a little bit too much of a gap because I'm just showing you guys. Also, also if you have a thrust washer, or a thrust bearing put it in between your drive dog and your bushing like so okay like I said you don't want to make this flat spot any deeper in this shaft because you've got a lot of RPMs back here 
spinning. If you have any, like the least little bit of an out, out of balance propeller, you'll bend your shaft. Uh, so make sure you don't take that flat spot down, in, down any deeper. Just extend it out. So my flat spot ends about right here. I probably won't run it right there because this is a quarter inch cable and it's not a whole lot there it is right there it's not a whole lot of flex going to be on this quarter inch cable but but there will be flex so that right there that gap will give your drive dog room to contract with that flex cable when it when it contracts and, and you've got thrust when you're throwing a propeller it's actually pushing the boat so that thrust from your propeller is actually pushing in or up I should say pushing up on all these components back here so you need a thrust washer thrust bearing back here and you need to cut down your flat spot also check the length of your cable as well but that's gonna help you guys save your cable save your boat save your strut save you some money all right so uh, just wanted to show you guys that kind of corrected myself but yeah yeah so thank you guys for watching i hope this little tip helped you guys out with your boat uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe big b with ironclad rc <laughs> thank you guys for watching